This video is going to show you how to manually adjust your phasing using topspin. If you watched the third video, the basic processing, you will recall that there is a way to automatically phase a spectrum by clicking process and then this process spectrum icon here. Um, but it's important to know that there are certain times when the automatic phasing is not going to give you a very straight baseline and in order to get proper phasing you're going to need to do it manually. And so in order to manually phase your spectrum, you can click on this adjust phase icon and a new toolbar will show up right here. And this is what you'll use to manually adjust your phasing. You'll also notice that a red line appeared on the tallest peak and that's going to serve as the reference point for the baseline correction. So the first step of manual phasing is to do a zero order correction which is done using this zero icon here. So if you click and hold on the zero and then move your mouse upwards and downwards, you'll see that the baseline is moving and that it's moving most dramatically in the immediate area near the red line. So the goal of the zero order correction is to get the baseline as smooth as possible in the area of the red line. And we're not gonna worry about what the baseline looks like on the left or the right, we're just going to look right around that red line. And once it looks pretty straight, you can move on to the first order correction, which is going to even out the baseline to the far left of the red line. So you'll see if I move it now, the spectrum is changing on the left side of the screen. So again, you're going to want to try to level out your baseline. If you make a mistake or you are unhappy with what your phasing looks like, clicking this R button right here will reset your phasing to the way it was at the beginning. So we're back to being unfazed. These um, 90, minus 90, and 180 buttons will adjust your phasing exactly that much. So if I push the 90, we're going to be moving my phasing by 90 degrees. So if I click this button four times, it should be back to where we began. Uh, minus 90 is going to move in the opposite direction. And if I adjust the phasing by 180 degrees, the spectrum is going to just invert itself. Um, there are a few other icons that are helpful in manually phasing a spectrum. This slope button here is going to adjust the sensitivity of the mouse. So if I click on the upward slope a couple of times, that's going to make any movement that I make on my mouse move the spectrum farther. It's going to decrease the sensitivity of the mouse. So now when I'm moving on the zero correction, I'm not moving my mouse very much, but the spectrum is moving a lot. Um, and conversely, if you use the downward slope, click that a couple times, and go back and do a first order correction, I'm moving the mouse a lot, but the spectrum is not moving very quickly. So it can be helpful to use the course adjustment first and then maybe zoom in. So here I can show you if I zoom in on this part of the spectrum, maybe do some course adjustment first and then when it looks pretty good to me I might switch to a finer adjustment and just try to really make small little changes in the zoomed in version. Um, don't worry about this button but the middle one here is going to save and um, exit out of the phase adjustment and if you would like to exit phase adjustment without saving you can click just this blue icon here. But I'm happy with my phasing so I'm going to go ahead and save and exit. 